I'm just here with you. Whoo! <laughs> I am everywhere. Like we're watching the flowering of the next phase of the Marvel Universe. The variant of he who remains, the one he's been talking about, the one that he's so afraid of. See you soon. Is Kang. Kang is bent on destruction. And I'm so curious to see what Jonathan does in the future. I think with He Who Remains, the, the objective for me was to give me the largest canvas possible. And then from that, as Kang begins to wear his head and do his deeds, in so many ways, he has no choice but to be in opposition or to be different from He Who Remains. Finally, it looks like Marvel is going to get back on track after the massive drought that was caused because of Endgame. Marvel's been on a big low ball since the Loki finale when we got to see Jonathan Majors, he who remains saying Kang the Conqueror is coming. Yeah, I get it. No Way Home did pretty good as well, but let's be honest, that's a Sony Pictures, Columbia Pictures movie. They take most of the money, so it's not really a Marvel movie. So, with the Quantum Mania trailer coming out yesterday, we finally got to see Kang. And he is looking pretty darn cool. So, yo, what is freaking good YouTube wish you here if you are new around? And make sure to subscribe to never miss any of the Marvel DC pop culture based content that we do on a day basis. If you're good, subscribe to the channel, turn notifications on, and let me know down below. Is Scott Lang, aka Am I Gonna Die in this movie? Like everyone seems to think. And if you could check us out on Instagram at wish that'd be much appreciated. Trying to grow the Instagram. And also, if you could check us out on Twitter, aka WarStuG over there, because we've got no followers. So let's get into this video. So I was a little bit disappointed with the trailer because the D23 trailer, I was told by multiple people, Ant-Man gets absolutely wrecked from some telekinesis power when he refuses to help Kang find something that he's looking for and he's still looking for it and it's most likely going to be shang chi i actually hated the shang chi movie shang chi's 10 rings and miss marvel's bangles that's probably what he's looking for most likely so i went into this trailer thinking ant man was gonna get absolutely freaking bashed unless i missed it he didn't so we're gonna go over a plot leak for ant man 3 why because everyone wants a plot leak and you guys seem to love these videos and Predominantly, I've done a lot of them over the years. So let's break it down. Janet will be running from the quantum realm when she meets Kang. There's a montage of Scott narrating his life via an accept from his book, looking out for the little guy. Scott talks about how happy he was to meet Raccoon that could talk and set his friends with the whole. Talk about future adventures. Scott says that for a moment, he just wants to focus on being a dad. Scott and Cassie reconnect in a massive way in this movie. Scott stroke Cassie and Hope and Hank and Janet are separated into two groups after getting sucked into the quantum realm by Cassie's device. Scott tries to calm Cassie down by saying, being in the quantum realm is just like being in camp. You didn't watch Avengers Infinity War and Game, did you? We will see a whole world civilization living in the quantum realm. Interesting. We see Hank and Janet surfing giant sting greys. There's a quantum realm bar with a bugman bartender. Bill Murray is in this, he's actually in the trailer, is in the quantum realm, who's hinted to have had a fling with Janet while she was stuck in there. Remember, time works differently. Some buildings appear to be alive in the quantum realm. Modoc described as a mechanical organism designed only for killing, he's a big Cory stall head. We get to know Kang's backstory. Janet and Kang were both trapped in the quantum realm together in the past. He has a ship that can travel the multiverse. Janet and he were fixing it. He wanted to help her fix time so she could get back to hope. Janet discovered he was evil via a neutral connection. He has his ship. After confronting him and confirming his nature, she destroyed the equipment that made his ship work and is trapped there. Both 
deeper in the quantum realm. Kang has been the conqueror ever since. He's been looking for Janet for revenge. Kang tells Scott he has beaten the Avengers several times. Kang asks him if he's won with the hammer, and Scott makes a joke about people confusing him over being for all the time. He wants Scott to help him get out of the quantum realm and says they should work together. Kang claims to be the one who can stop what's coming. When Scott asks, what is this? Kang simply says, me, because obviously there's going to be multiple variants of Kang, so it kind of makes sense the only person that can stop Kang is thus far Kang himself. Scott gets into the quantum nexus when he meets several versions of himself. There's a Scott who has just a Baskin Robbins employee in this universe and doesn't understand what's going on. Scott works with his multiversal self against Modo. Scott has an emotional moment with Cassie saying he messed up a lot in his life, but she was the only thing he never did. He promises Cassie he'd get her home. Corey doing a voice for Modoc. There's a running joke about every time calling Modoc Darren and him hating it. Janet calls Kang by his name, Nathaniel. Kang tells Janet that she gave him a lot of time to plot his revenge by leaving him stranded in the quantum realm. He tells her when he leaves, the first universe he claim will be hers. Kang reveals he's built an empire and says he'd take it with him to conquer all the universes, a.k.a. Kang the freaking Conqueror. Scott gets a black suit. Hope has a lightsaber-like wing. Both black suits have red and yellow ascents, respectively. The final battle is huge and reminds me of the battle from Aquaman with all the moving pieces. We see a giant Cassie fighting Modoc. She tries to talk to him about switching sides. Giant Scott and Giant Cassie running into each other for a hug. He jokes about feeling like it's a gorilla hug. Kang has a standoff with Scott, Hope, and Cassie. Hank flies in with a legion of battle-armored ants, and they attack Kang. He manages to hold them off with his powers. Modok also shows up to help. Kang fatally injures Modok. The family goes to Modok's side. As he dies, he rubs his tiny hands on Scott's cheek. There's an emotional moment where Modok says to Cassie was right about him and that he at least died an Avenger. Scott says he did a good job and agree. Kang survives the fight and stops Scott just as they're going back to their universe. Janet, Hank, Cassie and Hope escape. Kang beats the shit out of Scott. Hope comes back for him. They almost manage to trap Kang in the quantum realm, but he escapes and traps Scott and Hope inside. Kang guarantees Janet and Cassie that they'll find them. At the end of the movie, Hope and Scott look out at the quantum realm. Hope says to Scott that their family will be okay and that they will have to trust them to find the duo. She says Cassie will know what to do. The next scene, sometime later, Cassie running all kind of programs on different computers. She starts staring at the screen, sees something, her eyes go wide, and she gasps cut to black. Bonus apparently is going to be 2 hours 15 minutes. Right after they get trapped, Scott and Hope hug, and he asks her why she came back. She tells him it was because she saw all the other versions of himself too. The other life she could have, she didn't want to be in any of them that didn't have him there. William Jackson Harper is in the movie. He plays a mind-reading leader of the Quantum Realm people. He assists a little guy with a go-head in a glass helmet. Think of aliens from Jimmy and Neutron. Pretty cool storyline. Pretty cool storyline. I thought our man was going to die, but the fact that Scott Lang keeps getting trapped in the Quantum Realm does make a lot of sense to me. Kang wasn't going to die. It is cool that there are multiple variants of a lot of different people, which I find fantastic. I don't know if this is true. I mean, you could argue that the trailer came out yesterday and a lot of this is made up from the trailer, but a brief kind of variation of this plot leak has been around the internet for the last six months at least. So like always, guys, let me know. Do you like this plot leak? Do you think it's made up? Do you not like it? Do you think it's absolutely rubbish? Let me know everything you think down below. I will be covering much more Marvel on this channel going forward to Wakanda Forever. Ant-Man 3, and so much more. We will be covering Marvel DC heavily 
on the channel forward going forward i know i've been specifically doing more dc content recently but we're gonna get back on the marvel stuff because there's so much marvel stuff coming up soon so like always guys check us out on instagram at wish you to see the beautiful face behind the beautiful voice check us out on twitter wish you g and more importantly subscribe to the channel turn notifications on and we'll catch you in another video very soon catch you later <laughs>